everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Endigo and today I'm premiering something I've been wanting to do for a very, very, very long time now. As most of you watching already know, I'm not only a musician but also a huge fan of gaming, not only playing games but the gaming industry and gaming culture in general. During my still relatively short time as a YouTuber, I've done a few different things here on my channel. Vlogging, challenges, song covers, and hell, even a little bit of let's play. One thing, however, that I really want to do, I have yet to try out, and that is... GAME REVIEWING! Now I know there are already plenty of talented guys out there who do this stuff pretty damn well already and on a pretty regular basis as well. Such as Cat Icarus or Jontron or hell even Peanut Butter Gamer to name a few of the great ones. But rather than thinking I'm just gonna try to rip them off, I'm gonna try taking on some games that I think are really worth talking about that could use a little bit more love maybe. Because let's face it, there are many games out there that I think may deserve a little bit more recognition than they have gotten in the past. Anyway, with all this out of the way, let's finally kick this off with a game that's been with me through my entire childhood. Digimon World for the PS1. TAKE IT AWAY! Digimon World, the game that started it all. I got this game way back in 1999, a time when most of my friends were deep into their own adventuring in the recently released Pokemon Red and Blue. And yes, I too played those games. And yes, I too found them absolutely epic. And yes, I too got my Mewtwo to level 100. But while the early Pokemon RPGs were nothing less than great games, there was this one game that had reached my interest at roughly the same time. Digimon World. Like the Pokemon games of that age, Digimon World was also an RPG, however, a very different type of RPG. This was more in the veins of, say, the Tamagotchis, where you had to take care of the Digimon by feeding it, exercising it, training it, hell, even take it to the bathroom. This may seem a bit strange for a game about having your own digital death pet battling other monsters until you consider the fact that both Digimon and Tamagotchis were created by Bandai. Coincidence? Yeah, I think not. Anyway, the game itself starts off with you, the player, living in what looks like Japan, in a world where Digimon itself is already an established franchise. Call it... Digiception? <laughs> After watching our friends battle... Oh, by the way, did I say this game's music kicks effing ass? Anyway, after watching our friends battle their Digimon in the most overselling CGI intro for a game ever, we cut to our main character, finally getting home. However, one thing leads to another, and suddenly we're sucked into our own portable gaming device, and with that, the game is officially started. The screen goes black until this dude comes out and starts interrogating you. E excuse me? Sir? Dude? Fucking do I have friends? Fucking Joseph. Joseph fucking have friends. What's your name? Oh, I'll tell you my name. All right, let's see here. G U M P. Yeah, that's right. Gump. That that's ass in, in Swedish. Ass. We then cut to our main character waking up in the middle of what appears to be some kind of uh, satanic ritual. <laughs> Now the guys basically explain that something evil is going on and that the Digimon have been losing their hearts and leaving the city, leaving it in a state of miserable decay. And as you probably guessed, you are now tasked to travel around the world and convince Digimon to move back to the city. How do we do that? By fighting till death! Well, alright then, let the adventure begin- HOLY SHIT I'M GETTING ATTACKED! Oh god, oh man, oh god, oh man, what do I do? I'm not prepared for this! <laughs> Alright, guess I have to face like a man. Come at me! Whoa, this game has some heavy music. In fact, some of the songs in this game sounds like something I listen to on a daily basis. Just take a listen. After a little negotiation, my now defeated foe decides to accept his defeat and move into the city. Hooray! Not easy being the best son, but someone's gonna beat, I guess. Uh, you guys having a party? No, nah, nah, thanks, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> hey, look, he's drilling with his nose. He's like Mecha Pinocchio or something. Hey, you, you, you alright there? You, you doing alright? Mr. Pinocchio? You, you okay, bro? Gee, guess I should go help the poor bastard. I mean, whoa, now he wants to fight me? I guess today's lesson is never help anyone. Ever. The hell? We died? 
Don't you kill us? Well, that seems kind of brutal for a game about helping people return to the city. Guess we just have to go kill some weaker enemies first then. Hey, hey look at this little buddy. Aw, oh, you're hungry? Well, I guess I could spare you a little food then. Here you go, friend. Now, could you please tell me... Are you fucking kidding me? Everyone in the whole world really got some issues with you in this game. And we died. Again. Luckily, if you suck too much, you could always go work out at the local gym. Yay, video games. This, my friends, is modern digital entertainment. It doesn't get better than this. Throw out your PS4 and your fancy 4K OLED high def 7.1 Wi Fi laser nuclear Netflix TV. This is what video games are about. This is perfection. What's that, Angamon? You, you want poop? Well, fine, let's see if we can find a bathroom. This game is officially a pooping simulator. So after a few intense minutes of hardcore muscle building, we're now ready for REVENGE. You'll regret the day you cross path with me, Mr. Worm. You'll be sorry you ever set your foot in this part of the forest. Come on now. Come on! Come on! Yes! Yay! We did it! Well done, Agumon! I didn't think you could do it, but I guess that training really did pay off. God damn it, Agumon! All the shitting aside, I feel like we're doing pretty well. Oh my god. Is this it? Are we digivolving? Are we actually gonna be the badass Greymon from the TV show? <laughs> Finally! Now this is why I bought this game in the first place. Finally, all this hard work is paying off. <laughs> Come to Papa, Dino Warrior! This is just beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, this right here is science. Freaking Darwinism shit right here, I tell you. Obviously, dinosaur becomes a green slug with a tongue the size of Mike Tyson's thighs. Logic. So, with all of this said, what's my thoughts on this game? Well, to be honest, this is actually one of my favorite games of all time. Not only was Digimon World one of the first huge RPGs I ever played, but until this day, it's probably one of the most mysterious games I've ever experienced. I mean, you traverse forests, jungles, volcanoes, graveyards, spooky mansions, invisible bridges, icy mountains, ride sea dragons, play curling, go fishing, works, a shopkeeper, and so much more! And the best part of it, the game gives you no clue on what to do. It's pretty darn unforgiving, actually, but in a way that makes you feel great about it actually figuring out what to do. You know those kind of Eureka moments in Dark Souls whenever you actually defeat a boss. This game is that. All of it actually. Fucking amazing. Digimon World for the PS1. Fucking brilliant game. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this time. I hope you enjoyed this kind of whimsical review on Digimon World for the PS1. Uh, if you have any thoughts on the video whatsoever, please leave a comment below. I'm still trying out this kind of formula, so it's all pretty new. Uh, so all feedback is good feedback right now. If you enjoyed this, please like and favorite this video, and also thank you for subscribing. Peace!